This video is all about post-match whining from Springbok supporters. Thank you for joining me on this video today. Okay, so in the aftermath of the Springboks first test loss against the Lions, majority of us, we all agree and say that the Lions deserve their victory. But as there are always people who are post-match whining about the loss, I would like to go through an article that South Africa's favorite, one of South Africa's most favorite um, rugby journalist, Mr. Mark Yohain, posted a very interesting article immediately after the game. And I just want to go um, through this article and see what Mr. Kiyohain has to say. A quick disclaimer in this video, I do not agree 100% with the opinion and comments from Mark Ewain. Mark Ewain is the same guy that said the Springboks will win the Lions 3-0 and that the Springboks will be smashing the Lions. So yeah, so sometimes you have to take what Mark Ewain says with a pinch of salt, but I just found being a Sunday after the match um, what the other side of the coin is and what people are saying about um, why the box lost and a lot of whining. So this article um, from Kyo.co.za So in this article, Mr. Kyo Hain, he attacks Marius Jonke who was the, the TMO yesterday in the game. He says here, Marius Jonke must be replaced now as the TMO, not because he is a cheat, but because he was petrified to rule anything in favor of the Springboks. He is incompetent, writes Mark Ewan. I don't blame Jonker for the Springboks' first test defeat against the, the British and Irish Lions, but my God, it was embarrassing listening to Jonker crumbling whenever a decision was referred his way, even when he had to rule the Springboks try in favor, in their favor. He sounded apologetic for actually not finding something he could not rule against. World Rugby never make this mistake again of putting a local referee in the box for an international series. Jonker's biggest moment came with Bali LaRue's try. The on-field decision was try. He was asked if there was compelling evidence to change the decision. His response was that there was nothing definitive but that Bali appeared to be in front. Was he or was he not? There was nothing definitive, his words, not mine. Jonker should never be a TMO again when the Springboks play. He then didn't see anything wrong with Hamish Watson upending LaRue with a spear tackle. Jonker will be praised for his performance. It is World Rugby's way. Okay, then he's just, he just um, babbling on here. Then the other thing, the other point he, he covers here is it was Jonker when Tom Curry illegally scrammed into box lucid auction chair on repeated television replays. No way. So basically, the three points what Mark Wayne is, is picking up in his article were number one, the disallowed try from Valilaru where Jonker didn't actually um, give a definitive answer. The second one was Ibis Watson's spear tackle on Valeru. I thought that should have been also a yellow card because normally if a guy gives a spear, a spear tackle like that, it's usually a yellow card. And the other one that um, he mentions is the is how Tom Curry basically um, scrummed into Oxen Chair, being a second tight head that's actually challenging Oxen Chair. So those are the major three points that Springbok supporters are crying about this morning. Tears and tears and tears. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you agree with, with this uh, whining? Do you agree that the box was robbed? Do you, do you agree with Mark Ewing's sentiment and his comments? And most importantly, do you agree that Marius Jonker should remain as the TMO for the remaining two test matches? In my opinion, I think that Marius Jonker should be excused. I think that they should get someone that's neutral because, yeah, 
we don't want any winding after the game like we are hearing now so yeah that's my my whining post-match video um, please interact with me in the comments I do read the comments I do respond to the comments if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing to my channel and until my next video thank you